Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muggle Ever, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaizo Redux, in which we are playing as a constitutional American Republic. Now, I played this one before, but I went down a certain old uh, ka land route, apparently. That was a lot of fun, which I had no idea what I was doing at that time, but that was a lot of fun regardless. But we gotta talk about a couple things first. How about the Chief of Staff? With the Civil War loom and an emergency meeting of the leaders of the ODP and the NDWL at, in Atlanta found President Murr having to choose between three quarreling candidates for the position of Chief of Staff. George Van Holen Mosley is by far the most experienced of the three and is favored by the Fortis and the respectable number of more mainstream ODP members. However, most of the ODP and the NDWL feared given for too much influence. Having put forth New Jersey clan dragon Arthur Hon Hui Bell as their choice of Chief of Staff. The old KLAN, the Black Legion factions, and the White Ligarinos, however, have their doubts about Bell's ideological commitment, have been aggressively arguing that their own Virgil Burt Effinger is best suited for the job. Now, I don't remember the last time we did this. I literally have no idea. I don't remember. I just know I went down with the old group. But we're going to go down Grand Battle Plan just because it's either that or superior firepower. Never mass assault. We don't really have the industry for mobile warfare, at least in my opinion right now. Maybe if I play as, Whenever I play as Patton, I will go mobile warfare, but for now. We ain't going down that way. So, who is the dude? Oh, I definitely, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to play this old blood and guts. Kaiser Redux has a, so many paths that are fun, I'll say. Um, so, really here, patent strategy, obviously, is mobile warfare. Uh, McNarney's tactics is for superior firepower. The Draper, Draper path is for mass assault. Mass assault, but mostly reform plan. Did I go with him last time? I might have got him last time, actually. Grand battle plan. Well, we're going to go with him anyway, so. That'd be very, very nice, yeah. The Mosley Reform Plan. George Van Holen Mosley. Which actually, I'll supply get, we get more. We get more def division defense in the core territory and 20% more division organization. Oh, that's pretty nice. Treaty with the U.S. Despite our dislike of the anti-ODP and the anti-NDWL MacArthurist regime, we are clearly at a disadvantage. Now that the CSA and AUS have signed a peace treaty, due to this, Theodore Bilbo has drawn up about a 200-day plan, which will supposedly, supposedly grant us a 200-day non-aggression back with the U.S. before we supposedly negotiate a different deal. Or they peacefully recognize our superiority. You know they fall now? The loose political power car treaty? That would be bad. That could save us some time. I don't know, though, how fast we could strike the CSA. Because if I could capture Chicago and Pennsylvania and these guys fast enough, that'd be good. Uh, send Bilbo. Well, they still might reject us, so we'll see what happens. Chief of the Army. With the Civil War loom and the fact that we don't have a Chief of Army, it's prompted concern among various political military leaders. Communications continued after the choosing of the Chief of Staff to appoint a Chief of Army to win this war. Smith? Or Patton. I love Patton so much. You get more attack, actually. Period, which is really nice. For this one, you get more recon. Out of supply goes down. Um, uh, I, I want to get that extra attack. I'm going to go with Smith, though, just because we will use go with Patton some other time. Uh, oh, you get more land out of attack. That's 50%, though. And we could sound super advanced. We're trying to get more militias right now. We're heading a red guard, and we can minute men resistance. Uh, political actions. Let's see anything else here we really care about. Legation cities. No. Cool. So basically, we're setting ourselves up for the war. I'll probably honestly do most of the war off screen for now, just because it's the war. Trans by call Casa Coast, huh? It's very annoying to do sometimes. So like, like I don't want to just be spitting rage at you guys for this campaign. I will probably spit a lot of rage anyways. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. My goal is to at least go with the young clan, but the U.S. accepts. The U.S. has accepted the ceasefire, though. Given the reluctance, it seems unlikely we can maintain it after the ceasefire date. More stability. Southern governors meet in Atlanta. A large crowd recently gathered outside the state house in Atlanta to congratulate William H. Murray for defying the federal government. When the governors arrived, the press only saw the image of a defined America determined to fight the illegitimate powers of federal corruption and syndicalist oppression. However, not all of our southern governors were in attendance. The governor James V. Allred of Texas sat with Huey Long, and Governor Bibbs Graves refused to side with the constitutionalists. Some of that had him driven out of his home state by the Klan Atlanta militias. The good old loyal governor is now meeting with William H. Murray inside the state house to determine the proper response to the federal government's deadline. For Dixie, we march. As we're building up some civvies, building up some millies, good stuff because we're going to need a lot of guns. A lot, a lot of guns. The Second Declaration of Independence. William H. Murray, along with many of his allies and the Klan allied militias, declared that America was a dead nation. Alongside his speech, he blamed many things for America's downfall, such as the establishment selling out to Republican industrials, Catholic voters, Jewish money, God, that Jewish money, and Washington bureaucrats, and that MacArthur's blatant disrespect for America's tradition was a nail in the coffin. As the speech ended, he declared the need to resist the traitors and declared that the constitutional American Republic would return America to the greatest of the Jacksonian era. Down with the eagle. God, I love Andrew Jackson. Bring back Andrew Jackson. If we had to bring back one president, it would have to be Daddy Andrew Jackson. But we're doing carpetbaggers and whatnot right now. 
Let's see, where are we at? So, we had a lawful bill. If you wonder about that, please go right ahead. But we're doing carpetbaggers and scalawax who will help lower resistance levels. Criminals and socialists within white communities continue to sabotage us without end. This new Delhi Democratic Security League will recruit from our most trustworthy supporters in the National Guard, military, and white leagues. They'll focus on countering wealthier elements of society used to bribing their way out of trouble from coordinating with radicals and criminals, starting with unpatriotic capitalists. God dang, those unca unpatriotic capitalists, my goodness. Yeah, these guys are going to be a big old pain in the rear end. Fight. So, whenever I have militia, I just auto convert them to infantry divisions, which. If you didn't know, militia use literally each battalion uses half of the amount of infantry equipment as a normal infantry battalion does. So a thousand manpower, a hundred equipment, while these guys use a thousand manpower and fifty infantry equipment. But look at the stats. That's so much worse. And even though these guys do have artillery, it only gives them seventeen more artillery. So it's roughly double, but at the same time, it's just better to use infantry. Like if you ever have any questions about that, just just use uh, artillery or just infantry. Infantry is so much better. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know, we have a cup of coffee to keep it nice and warm. I could do a uh, time lapse of me taking everyone out, but like, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> With the Constitution of the American Republic, Congress convenes. Through the grapevine, dozens of congressmen have heard of William H. Murray Assembly in Atlanta. Some came to wish William H. Murray well and, uh, and stayed. Others wish to really wish to simply court favor of the revolution. These meetings in Atlanta began to take on a congressional appearance with Hal Mage standing as the president of the attending senators. Aware of the growing determination to defy the federal government and that this lack of willingness to negotiate meant civil war was all but certain, a large number of politicians have slinked away to the north, those, though those that remain seem more determined than ever to see victory. They'll get theirs eventually. Honestly, they, they do not have... Can you guys actually go in there fast enough? If that's the case, like if we could race to Chicago, I would love that so much. Second American Civil War begins. The Giants sleep for good. Oh, you betcha. Well, at least for now. That's not a good thing, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Do that. Take both of you and you. Cut you both down into half. Boom, boom, boom. Come on up to Kentucky. Actually, Springfield. And please just bomb the loving crap out of them. Nice. If we can move fast enough, that would be so good to capture Chicago. I don't know if that's possible. But we'll try our best. And we're just going to hold the line against Huey Long. I'm not going to push against him at all. No, 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 no. Honestly, you guys go over here. This is a one gigantic front line. There you go. That fits so better. Oh, they got two militia. Oh, they got two militia divisions. Oh, but can we take Chicago immediately? Oh, please, 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 big daddies. Oh, they have. Oh, they went with six. God dang it. Urgh. You bunch of rock suckers. Oh, yes, please. We'll try a little bit together, and if it doesn't go well, we'll just do stuff off screen just because we can. <sighs> I can't believe they deploy them early. You piece of the garbage. You pieces of doo doo. Kingdom of Canada sees Alaska. The territory of Alaska experienced a severe a shortage of new supplies following the outbreak of the Civil War after a recent bomb in the city of Juneau. Uh, the Alaska governor feared a breakdown of order, one that the far off federal government will be too busy to respond to, and thus made a formal request to the Kingdom of Canada that they intervene. Canadian troops and supply trucks have already moved down to the region. We'll deal with them later, but after them carpetbaggers, god dang them carpetbaggers. What we're going to do is go over here to the right side and do probably the field doctrine, or na land doctrine, National Army. So far, the only force the ODP has commanded has been small town militias. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and army groups have deserted to join the real American government, and adapting our previous forces and hierarchy to these newcomers should be our top priority. Oh, six in Tennessee. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, we should have got North Carolina because it gives you eight. But we're going to go with Mosley's reform plan. Given how outdated the Army organization had become, Judah Mosley's is approach us with a reform plan. It's before a hierarchical organization, reorganization, from top to bottom. The expansion of old Army bases to train officers and a focus on centralizing the command chain. It's request of the ODP for carte blanche to carry out his plans and bring up Army up to standard. That would be great. Deadline looms as the federal government's deadline looms. It's become clear where there will be no budging on either side. Across parts of the country controlled by long supporters, an army formed of militia and the million men have been raised in a growing determination to see the country made, remade by force taken hold. The federal government, in turn, has also made it clear they're no longer seeing a path to compromise. It's only a matter of time before we all die here. Get all of Indiana. Let's move, 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 boys. Let's move. Honestly, if you could just all go in, that'd be great. Like, I don't, we can't win here too much, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Go in if you can, please. Thank you very much. Uh, send you guys in as well. If we could get all the way to Detroit, we could cut off this entire group and have the feds take it all. I'd rather have the feds take it. I hate the reds. I hate the reds so much. Ooh, you want to hold in. Darn it. That sucks. Yeah, I, yeah, against these guys, that's not good, but whatever. We got a push, but we don't have any PP. Oh, come on. 
Black intellectual spread propaganda. As chunks of the Black Belt grow de facto autonomous due to heavy resistance, we have received reports of black organizers entering black strongholds after being sent by prominent intellectuals in the factions. Notably, notably W.E. Dubois, uh, UNIA, and the Nation of Islam, the Black Syndicalists, and civil rights activists, and the NAACP. Apparently trying to aid in the organization of a new government from relative safety of afar, slipping by defenses. Darn them, darn them all. Yeah, this Indiana is mostly under our rule now. Nice. Oh, I thought that was Central America, not Argentina, but whatever. Oh, they're definitely attacking us. Uh, I need y'all to stop and hold out and hang out. Actually, except for you guys. You guys doing okay, okay there. A little bit of lag. Yeah, y'all stop. Stop. Just defend. Uh, good. Honestly, we can, how many more guns? You know what? We need, we need the guns. Keep the guns for now and raise the ones in North Carolina. That's fine. Can we actually win this? That'd be awesome if we could. Revolutionary syndicalists down there. All right, all right, all right. Lansing, come on. We gotta get somewhere here. Come on. Oh, now they're attacking us quite heavily. Oh, that sucks. Bruh. Wide Defense League requests army promotions. The leaders of the National Democratic White League have requested greater presence in the military to reflect their importance. While an experience, they will attempt to rile more members to join the military and donate funds and arms to the cause. Despite their, views, their own views, even the old Democrats find this is a tricky decision to make if some feel they're too ambitious for their own good. Of course we'll take the, the White League peoples. Go in here. If we can cut them off, cut off Pennsylvania from the rest of the group, that would be very, very strong. Never tried. We were just trying to push out early on. So... Uh, they're definitely attacking us. We're definitely... Can we... Oh, my God. Please take Chicago. Screw it. You guys, stop. Oh, you're doing... Actually, you're doing really well right there. Um, I'm going to have, have you guys stop. Go into Chicago. Go to Chicago. Go to Chicago. Nice. You guys are good. Convert y'all to car infantry. Go right here. That would be nice. And we're going to recruit some more in... Alabama. Please take Chicago. If you could take Chicago, that would be so awesome. Black Belt grows increasingly unstable. The Black Belt is a southern territory that has grown less under our own government. They're growing increasingly unstable in the recent weeks with black resistance groups doing hit and run tactics on ODP soldiers to the point where some of the areas simply too dangerous to enter for individual NDWL members as such are spy lines being attacked. Oh, crush these terrorist scum. You know what? You're so little. Do that. Take Chicago. Take Chicago. Take Chicago. You can do this. Come on. Take Chicago. Come on. Oh, come on. Hey, we cut him off though. That's nice. This is, looks like we cut him off. Could be wrong about that. We'll see. And DWL expansion, which is important for which way we want to go for this right now. Oh, come on. I want Chicago. We need Chicago. Since the promotions, the NDWL is getting increasing numbers among soldiers and new recruits, giving them widespread influence over the military. Increasingly, they are using this pressure to old Democratic Party members in the Senate to sign up for the NDWL and are pushing out our forest allies from the influence of handing out military contracts to the NDWL supporting businesses and states. Most shockingly, even captains of the National Guard are switching their allegiance despite technically answering to the old Democratic Party governors. That's clear that William Joseph Simmons is gathering support to become the leader of our republic, but to demote them would damage warfare at this point. Of course, expanding their influence would either anger the black population we're attempting to keep a lid on at the moment and disallow it, there ain't much we can do about that. I need you both here right now. Black resistance organized. Black resistance does to put aside the common ideological differences related to either economics or race nationalism. Uh, versus civic nationalism and come to simply agree that our government must be opposed. Organized and increasingly efficient cells, they are more comfortable attacking our military police and militia supporters near their territory. Our retaliations have only driven more black Americans with their arms. Darn it all. Yeah, go in here. We don't want to get encircled, so. That sucks. We can't keep it there, but whatever. We just need more divisions. Mosley reform plan, and then... Oh, come on. You guys come in here. I know you can. You literally probably can win there, so. That's why we're forcing this so hard right now. That's why we put all the planes here. Uh, logistics. Oh, look at this. Logistics management expertise during the end of war. Mosley was put as an assistant to General Dawes in the B Bureau of Budget, and it sounded quite a bit about logistical placement priority. This knowledge shall prove invaluable for us as our forces are stretched and our supplies are severely limited. They're god dang militia hostile. Like, since because of this, um, the Black Revolt is going to happen anyway, so we're going to just get ready for you guys. Uh, Booth? I'm not sure where they're going to spawn. I'm going to assume something like this, maybe. So, just be just to be ready. Uh, Southern Ohio, Indiana, Mississippi. We'll go this one. And Black South Carolina, huh? Yeah, they're slowly pushing into us, which is not very good, but... 
Come on, it's only militia divisions. Get out. Okay, so you're here too. Good. I right, see so you guys want to hold real quick. Let them spread out. Simmons calls for a government or a convention. William Joseph Simmons and the NDWLs called for a special convention to allow himself in to be appointed head, head of military operation and the de facto commander in chief of the nation. He has acknowledged the ODP as allies and says the current president will be rewarded for the loyalty via political and military appointments, but says the NDWL is still the future of America and the empowerment is necessary to save America from left radicals, liberals, and their duped Negro supporters. With the backing of Hiram Wesley Evans' clan, D.C. Stevenson's various le white leagues and terrorist groups, Armstrong's and the Christian Identitarians, endorsement, and, and even many ODP members no longer resisting, it is clear that he will be appointed commander in chief. While the constitutional American Republic does not allow exactly for this as the head of the nation is currently empowered with virtually unlimited autocratic powers of the ODP, does not have the stability needed to hold his ground and to pose a clan and political machine, it would be the end of the Republic. Well darn. Let them come in and see what happens. Hopefully they leave, because they're just going to, you know what, screw this division right here. Go kill yourself. There you go. Run his revolt. Oh boy. Let them leave first. I want Chicago so badly. Nothing really much there. Um, four. Still pretty good in southern Alabama. These guys are really pushing hard into us. This is really not good. At first I thought that was us, but okay. How strong are those Marines? They're not that strong. We start losing here. Yeah, the Reds, you can't you can't take out the Reds fast enough. I wish they would the devs would realize that you can't take them out fast enough. You should be able to win here with air superiority and stuff like that. Okay, if we can't no okay. Yeah, no, it's impossible to take out the Reds early on. So we got we are getting screwed here. Because the devs love mobilize the Reds so much. So much. So thanks, devs. Thanks. Simmons elected. William Joseph Simmons has been elected head of the Constitutional American Republic via the delegate system, although the current president still enjoys a symbolic status as a founder of the nation. It's clear that he and the NDWLs run the show now. So be it. Yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't like this at all. This is not fair at all. You just just summon. Just summon, like, oh, millions of men on the field. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I don't think so. I was always recommended to take them out early. I try it, and it's impossible. Thanks, game. Cool. At least we, at least we retreated. So stupid. Now the Reds are going to be just crushing us as best they possibly can, probably. You guys go here. Good. And we, we need to throw you on the line immediately, so. Fine. Just go wherever you need to go. Jesus. You know, this is a problem with uh, the Civil War here. You recomm get recommended to take out the Reds. You can't take them out. So then you're kind of screwed on the other fronts. As much as I want to keep you guys here... Can't really afford to do that right now. So you guys just move on. Where the hell are you going? No. No wonder they're coming through our lines. We can't hold out anything here. Alright, so with that in mind, where are the planes? 600, that's fine. We gotta, we gotta go to the deep south now. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid, which means I'm complaining too much, and then I'm going to be doing this off screen because I kind of hate the American Civil War. I don't think it's very good, but let's do a couple things here, and, and if there's important events, I'll probably talk about it. But, firearms manufacturers. A small arms industry is in dire need of reform. In spite of the national emergency, the independent contractors continue to waste money researching civilian firearms. A restriction on big game hunting later, and some manufacturers are beginning to focus on uh, military arms. So we got these two for the next one. And then expand Fort Benning. Fort Benning has served as our nation faithfully since its foundation in 1909. Its importance continues to serve and grow by the day. Being home of the U.S. Army uh, Infantry School, an expansion of Fort Benning could provide us with better room for new officers and recruits, and in turn provide us with better officers both in the short and long term. Joint Chiefs of Staff. The disputes common in the federal inter-service politics persist in our own government. In order to avoid this interdisciplinary contention from spilling over, we must ensure that all of our Chiefs of Staff are given equal attention and expand the Army Ranger Corps. Fort Benning, George, has been home to some of the most resourceful soldiers of the early stages of the Civil War. Training regiments to acclimatize soldiers in a new environment will enable American soldiers to survive in both the hostile world we find ourselves in and focus on command. Our enemies in the Civil War can be described simply as disorganized and demoralized militias with occasional remnants of the former army presenting any real resistance. If we should prevail against them, then we should make our own army and be an example of strong organization and cohesion. Walkie talkies is okay, take the fight abroad. I guess we'll do this one too. Usually, the military equipment has strong names, walkie talkie. How did that slip through the system? Our generals claim that this new untethered communication device will enable our troops to speak effectively. We're in the field, and we call it walkie talkie. Well, we're not looking good on equipment. 
And the American Union State is pushing it really well to us, but I'll see you probably when we're also fighting the federal government. Some members of the ODP and the NDW are pushing to increase our taxation of black neighborhoods for the war effort, arguing that their loyalty is tenuous to the new state and that their disloyalty to the cause and that their challenges to our social structure resulted in this war. As such, ODP members John E. Rankin and NDWL members are requesting that we use our resources for the war and his retribution before it is used against us. Of course, the other ODP members and the military advise against us, noting that we cannot afford to anger the black population as riots and black militias would simply massively damage our war effort instead of suggesting we respect the relative autonomy in their own neighborhoods for now. A dangerous suggestion. I think it's time they black paid up. Black conscription, while our taxation of black neighborhoods is profitable, has increased black resistance to our goals, causing cries to further penalize them. Most of think most of the N ODP and the NDWL, including Young Clan General w Wycliffe Draper or Draper, do not think blacks are mentally capable of being proficient combat soldiers. However, with a shortage of numbers and black resistance are sacrificing for the car, there are widespread demands to conscript black soldiers for manual labor jobs, support positions, and basic infantry charges. So obviously, those will greatly anger the black belt that houses most of our black population and our internal police services. Recommended, although the political factions are strongly pushing forward. Do it? It's too dangerous. We should do it. We get a little more manpower, it'll be kind of nice. We don't really need it though. Actually, more war support. We have no stability. That's really bad. We have Jim Crow, mob activity, Federalist resistance, coordinated Minutemen resistance, black nationalists, and organized social resistance. We have Hiram Wesley Evans. We got William Joseph Simmons. It's not really good. I prefer more stability. Oh, we don't have any stability. We get more political power though, actually. It's too dangerous. Black inscription. We do get some more equipment, which we honestly could use right now. You know what? It's too dangerous. Just because with that extra political power, we actually might be able to get some more stuff here. But right now, it's not looking too great. But we'll see what happens. Well, everybody, I guess we got it. The Black Revolt has finally happened. And hopefully we can just march straight on in and kill them all off. Because this is not looking too good. Especially... Ooh. Oh, that's not good looking either. Oh, boy. Yeah, thanks for making the CSA Navy just really ridiculously strong, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. It makes me so happy seeing that the CSA Navy can just stack wiper guys completely. Yeah, that's such a good feeling to have. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Because why not? The Reds need to have the best army, the best navy. They just need the best everything. Screw everyone else. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Especially when they don't even have a port except for up here. And then, yeah, it's, it's definitely a mess all the way up here, too. Uh, let's see. Over here. Uh, send them over here. I just really just get rid of all the Black Revolt peoples. So, we take Charleston. Um, I do need to play as a Black Revolt sometime, but not today is not that day. Someday, though. Someday. If we take Tallahassee, that really should be it. I mean, because trying to do this and fight the Civil War at the same time pretty much sucks. That should be it. That's got to be it. Oh, my God. We need Jackson. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? You're going to force the attack. I don't care at this point. Joint Chiefs of Staff is pretty nice. Go to Jackson, Mississippi if you can. As we get Fort Benning as well. Oh, we got a little more political power. Oh, who are we going to use? Air Force weapon manufacturers Colt get more soft attack immediately. I don't really care. Yeah, this black bolt kind of sucks. Yeah, if we could break out, that'd be quite ideal. Columbia will be ours as these guys are all just flooding around us, which sucks. Treaty comes to an end. Oh, great! As the ceasefire of the USA comes to an end, it's very clear that both of us expect the other to bend the knee to the other at some point. As there are some increasing border skirmishes between us in preparation for the battle, it's time to attack before they do. I'm okay. I ain't going to attack just yet. You crazy? Actually, mainly you, you go right here. How, how are we not there yet? You have to force the attack right. Go around him. You piece of garbage. You hold. You go here and go straight for Jackson. We literally... This is stupid. I don't think that this should really happen so much. It makes sense. But the amount of space they have for victory points is a bit too much. Especially since we were, we've basically lost all of Ohio at this point. Yeah, the car is definitely not a nation I'd recommend. Definitely not. This is stu kind of stupid, to be honest with you. Um... Got more divisions, that's kind of nice. Uh, throw you all in the line, that's fine. Uh, Florida, that'd be good. But seriously, for the love of God. How have you not won here yet? Oh my God, come on. Can they even afford horses down here? No, they can't. So why do they have horses? I mean, these guys aren't great and all, but still. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, crap. Well, if we gotta go in, we'll take stuff. At least Norfolk. Norfolk would be actually very nice to get, so. But now you're part of the line, so just get up to the river here, and we'll be okay. Ooh. Uh, there fine. Right over there. No, go over there. Do that. Thank you very much. Excuse me. We're, we're, excuse me. We're at war with... Oh, my God. How stupid are you, game? The game is incredibly stupid. 
Boy 4 AI, just in general, is incredibly stupid. Okay, so the Black Revolt is here. They should be fighting us. Okay, let's be realistic here. Are they going to fight? They're, they're going to try to kill off everybody. W why do we get them now? What? So stupid. I hate the victory point system for this thing. But there goes the Black Revolt. Thank God we put him well, down. Well, everyone, here we are at about July 31st, 1938, in which I've gone ahead and done a lot of the focuses for the Air Force, even though we could do a couple things regarding the Invisible Empire, which is... <sighs> Gonna be so exciting about the formation of an American Air Force. With the ongoing debate in the U.S. Army spanning for nearly two decades to continue still, the Air Corps officers that defected to our side have promised us great results if we separated the Air Branch from the Army. The Constitutional American Air Force shall be formed and will have to decide its future plans. Now, whenever I play as Lindbergh someday, please remind me to take down or go with Lindbergh's reform plan, but we went with Wayland's reform plan. Mr. Otto P. Whalen has managed to reach the higher echelons of command recently due to the mix of both nepotism and skill and has proposed a reform plan which is clearly welcomed by the Army leadership. In his view, the Air Force's role in war should be able to support the Army's advance to be a close air support. While the theoretical approach is sound, the final decision rests with the government. Uh, yeah, very nice. And we should expand the Air Corps Tactical School. We're lucky enough that the American Army in the past relegated air officer training to the Deep South as we now possess access to installations and officers from the Air Corps Tactical School in Maxwell Field, Alabama. However, in order to surpass a school set up in the Langley Field in Virginia, we need to expand our, our air installations and fighter development. American fighter projects were halted during the 1920s due to a lack of funding from the government, leading to a disadvantage in fighter development. We must close this gap by funding design contests among different companies with the prize being obtaining a very profitable production contract for the plane that may outperform our enemies. Bomber development. Bombers, although a terror to behold, will enable us to project our power overseas. Our secret project will also hinge on effective and safe bombers to deliver the secret payload, airfield expansion. The fierce airplanes are flowing in the south. We have a long tradition of aviation here, and we should embrace it. Let us expand our airfields and make sure that we have fighters, bombers, transport planes so that we can win any war in the sky. And after that one, we're going to do air-to-ground uh, combat coordination exercises. In order to come out of the battlefield with an effective cast air force, we need to first practice the basics of this relatively new concept of warfare. Close air support model development. The Army's request for more ground support while traversing the trenches of our enemies have erected. As an equal partner, the Air Force approves this request. Flexible bomber development. Since your Air Force has the task of supporting the Army, the bombers of our Air Force will have to adapt to a various variety of roles, both as close air support as well as disrupting enemy supplies and communications in the rear as a battle. Uh, during a battle, and we should encourage development of planes that may fulfill these roles. Combined arms offensives looks pretty good. While our air officers stand at the ready, and issues arisen once more that impedes the progress of our air force, army officers don't exactly know how to exploit our air power to its fullest potential. As such, we have shops teach them to coordinate both their infantry and mechanized vehicles with their planes in order to create an unstoppable offensive. It looks pretty good. Uh, radar, radar. the top secret technology to detect air movement will allow our sky watches to rest easy at night. Naval bomber development. With the shortcomings of our Navy for protecting our shores, the Air Force has duty to also protect the shores of our nation for whatever cost any, against any enemy who dares set foot in our homeland. As such, we will seek to complement the Navy's patrols with naval bombers scouting and intercepting enemy any vessels whenever our fleet is too spread out or too far away to do so. And then, Screaming Eagles program. With the ever-growing presence of the Air Force and ever-growing needs of the battlefield, a question has arisen between our Army and the Air Force officers. Could it be possible to combine the two to transport troops beyond the battlefield in a manner that they may change the face of battle in order to prove or disprove this theory? An experiment shall be undertaken, as you can tell right now. We've actually spent it pretty darn far north into the uh, CAS territory, CSA territory. And the American Union states sucking really hard against the uh, PSA. Uh, live by Upton Sinclair. Fame profit, cool. Honestly, we've been doing really, really well. Like, we just push up north, especially with these guys over here. Also, I mean, it does help that we made a lot of these guys literally just infantry. So, they're only 18 combat with, but I did give them engineers. So, at this point, capital for the CSA is in Philadelphia. So, we could try general attack. I want to be able to win. My hope right now is to defeat the American Union State. Yeah, their divisions are looking really bad, which is really great. Especially since we're over here. And the PSA has been hammering the living hell out of the American Union State. While we've been doing... We've been doing great against the CSA, which is awesome. Of course, it does help that the cutoff from the capital, which, thank God, at least in Kaiser Redux, maybe not so much Kaiser Reich, but Kaiser Redux, if the enemy is cut off from the capital, yay, um, they're not supposed to be get, get that much supply. Maybe a little bit from like the victory points, but I swear there's a bug in Kaiser Reich where if you uh, cut off from the capital, the CSA, or at least the AI, still gets some sort of supplies. Which is god awful, and since the war's not over yet, eh, I don't want to do this too buggy. You know, the PS, PSA, I'll give them some states. There, you can have that. Mm, you can have all of Texas too. We'll take we'll take the other corridor here. We'll take everything else because screw everyone else. Not bad. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, sure, guys. Sure. Are we are we aware of these guys? We should be, right? Um, Hopefully, we can hold against them. Yeah, it's not looking too great. Look at all these armies around here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Grand Assault's very good. Get some infiltration. I'm hoping that uh, we can just kill these guys off, hopefully, pretty easily. And then 
take out Philadelphia, and then defend against these guys. But now with all these other guys, we probably can do that. We're still attacking a lot of guards and such like that. That's not too bad. Oh, look at these reds. Oh, these reds, reds, reds gotta die. Look at all this army here. Oh my gosh. Yes, please, daddy. Yes, yes. Force the attack. Kill them all off. Like, I don't care how much more of this area we lose here. I want... It's better to be dead than red. Just, just de better dead than red. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And then we can focus on the PSA and hold them off. I was trying to take out the federal government. Or, either or, so. Actually, who else is here? The United Mexican States can go fight a fat sucker. Nice. Duluth? Oh, like, Duluth training. Oh, yeah, we're still trying to fight over here, too, which kind of sucks, but... It's alright. So, the machine gun's not too bad. It is 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a tremendous year. Armor, get some M3 Stewarts. Got a couple more divisions, which we're going to definitely need more... No, we don't need more guns. Well, should not get rid of those divisions. Oh, well. Northern Wisconsin, that's fine. Look at all these divisions. Oh, this is one of the best times I've ever had against the Reds. Holy crap, as much as I hate them as much as possible. Oh, my goodness, please just murder them. Murder every last Red you see. Oh, yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. I don't give a crap about the PS... Oh, my God! <sighs> Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, 800,000 dead reds. Oh, what else could you ask for? Now these guys are floating through here, it's really bad, but it's alright. Uh, so now, I'm going to have you guys do this. I, I'm probably going to capitulate the Pacific States first. You guys come over here. I don't know how strong they are. We'll see what happens. That's why I read a lot of the focuses already. So I'll see you when, hopefully, we'll have at least one of these sides taken care of. Happy 1940, everyone. But as you can tell, we're doing... Really quite well. It's probably one of the best times I've actually done the American Civil War. We've lost a lot of guys. We've lost... We've killed off a lot of guys, too. Uh, the feds have been slowly expanding in this corridor, because I haven't really been paying much attention to it. We actually lost the division, but... These are all our 40 combat with divisions, and you can tell, well... Trying to fight the, the uh, Pacific States. Not been too easy. Really, really not great. I mean, we've lost 700,000 to them. We've only killed off... Well, basically roughly double. Uh, the cows to them. Um, some of these guys are 20 combat width, some of these guys are, well, actually 18 combat width, others are 40 combat width, so. We're missing a lot of equipment here, but overall we ain't doing too bad, but we're doing a lot of naval stuff, like American Navy. Only a few ships and even fewer sailors remain loyal to the American people. We need to take stock of our maritime situation with the Great White Fleet. The Great White Fleet was a height to, of American naval power. We should look back at it for inspiration. A great fleet of battleships and dreadnoughts will ensure we always have naval superiority. And battleship research. Battleships are the king of the high seas. We should start research into new models with bigger guns and better air protection. Expand the dockyards. Our dockyards are somewhat inadequate to fight a war on their own. We need to ensure that the new naval production facilities are constructed to support the war effort. Light cruiser development. Light cruisers are important in anti-air operations as well as attacking enemy destroyers and subs. We should ensure our navy has a handful of these in order to stay balanced. Research or battle cruiser research. Battle cruisers present a middle balance between heavy battleships and faster cruisers. We should ensure that we have some in our navy. Probably a good idea. We can minimize resistance, might as well. Uh, we're taking over to Sacramento. We're trying to get to San Francisco. We're trying to get to San Diego, LA. You know the good stuff, which makes sense why they haven't capitulated yet, but we're doing the best we can. We're trying to get, take Portland. We're trying to get some more uh, intelligence agency groups and guys like that, so. It is 1940, though. So. We still have only three research slots. So there goes Ukraine. I guess the war is raging on in Europe. I don't really care, I'll be honest, because America means more to me than Europe, so. Yeah, not too bad. And we will change who we're going to be led by after, of course, once the... It looks like it seems like the Ukraine is probably being liberated. Oh, Austria intervenes. Never mind. Austria has intervened. Okay. Uh, once we start doing a lot of the Invisible Empire focuses, but really for this episode, you, almost in every episode that we start off with the American Civil War, we always end up trying to win. Wait. Oh, the reason why the CSA also lost is because Canada and New England decided to go to war with them. So thank God, thank you Canada for trying to kill off the CSA. I hate the CSA so much. But thank goodness these guys have gone in there too, so... Hey, Oregon, thank you. Uh, how much more do we need to take for these guys? Yeah, so quite a bit. I mean, it's just, it's such a grind, as you can tell. It's a massive grind down here. We probably don't have air superiority. Or restore to Wisconsin, though? Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Yeah, we don't have air superiority down here, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, uh, these guys are almost creeping the barrel. We have no equipment either, but, like, neither do they, really. They really don't have any either, so. Just a matter of time before they all kill themselves, which is exactly what we want. Please kill yourselves. Please, 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 please. Um, yeah, that's not great to keep attacking, but they have no equipment, we have no equipment, no one has equipment, that's okay. Resno, yes please. New Admirals, but let's do the Battle Cruiser research, because we're going to run out of things to research eventually, followed up with New Admirals. Many new Admirals are deserted to the traders of the East. We should train a new generation of naval leaders to ensure continued maritime dominance. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes please, encircle and murder them if they're not doing anything else, okay then. 
Olympia would be very, 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 very nice. Keep on moving in, guys. I know Seattle is not a great place to be. It's, I hear it's very dreary there. But I'd still rather y'all do the best y'all can. Eh, I'll get some upgrades. Yeah, Pan's not doing too badly, but we really could use some tanks. Some actual tanks. So, not bad, not bad. Eventually, these guys will fall. Ooh, ooh, we're going to take San Francisco right next. Nice. Got some of that, too. Oregon's mil... Nope, Morgan Militias. Ooh, Northern California. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Well, I've taken San Francisco now, my friends. Pacific states are pretty close to capitulating. We need 40,000 more guns. Holy bad words. That's a lot. And the Pacific states are now dead. Awesome. Um, anything here? Is this, is this even worth making? Actually, can you, heavy ship engines? We already have heavy ship engines. That's not terrible. Honestly, we don't have a lot to build, so we'll build one of them. There you go. At least Pacific State's going to die, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, we got him, my friends. Hopefully, we're not completely... Oh, did Hawaii stay with him? Hawaii did stay with him. Awesome, we got Hawaii as well. So, George S. Pat, thank you very much. Now, with the feds fighting on two fronts, and they're pushing into New England just a wee bit. Oh, my gosh, looks so bad. Oh, that's so bad for equipment. Oh, my gosh, we're completely out of support equipment. Artillery, guns, you name it. You know what's going to really not help us out? If we upgrade to the next level of guns, which would be a stupid idea, but we're going to do it anyways because we can. Uh, we'll get some of this too. Japan, clear war on, on top, basically, it looks like, probably. All right, whatever. And we're still building up more, uh, you know what, it's the last thing with roads. Just build them up anyways, that's fine, whatever. Um, not bad, we're still improving portable radios, nice. Very, very nice. And since you're here, Mr. Smiley Man, come to DC, we'll take it all. And we'll see what happens. After Battle Cry, was research, yeah, new admirals. Because, okay, so to get to the next stage of the whole clan thing here, we've got to go with the Invisible Empire, which is 8 day focus, which is weird, it's only 8 days, well, yeah, whatever. As these guys are moving on all the way over there, which is very, very nice, it's going to take a while, but that's okay. Resistance is looking pretty god awful. We've got Michigan, not, which is nice. We've got all of Indiana. You know, I, I made this comment when I played as Kaiser Reich as the U.S. federal government led by Douglas MacArthur, but. A lot of the states in Kaiser Redux for the Civil War are divided. For example, like, like of all things, Indiana. And we have Indiana, even though this is south, central southern Indiana with Indianapolis, whatever. North Carolina is divided. Um, Illinois is divided, which is good to see as well, as well as Missouri which and Arkansas of all states. I like this. I like this a lot. In Kaiser Redux, they still don't have that for some reason. Um, I will say, though, like, Pennsylvania, even Kaiser Reich has divided Pennsylvania into two, with one side being Pittsburgh, the other side being Philadelphia. I don't understand why that this is not divided. It makes more sense if it is, but also isn't. If it's divided into like three, maybe, maybe not, but uh, just a Hello. Who's winning over? Alright. I mean, you're slowly losing to the Russians. Oh my gosh, they're doing an Adrian bonus trying to get killed off by the Belgrade Pact. Oh, they lost to Slovakia and Slovakia. What? Why did they lose that? Independence guaranteed by the Germans. Or, no, the Volunteers. All right, that's very, very odd, but okay. I don't care too much, though. I'd rather just kill them off. Let's let the guys get some more time, get some more equipment, get some more planning done before we kill them all off. Because who likes the federal government? We like the federal government only when we're playing as them. That's why. That's when. Cool. And look at that manpower. That's actually really bad. But that's okay. Goodbye. Thank you. We'll take your guns. We'll take your manpower. Not bad. So, are we ready to rock and roll here? Probably. Let's see. Do we have any planes? Anything here like this? A little bit of chaos. Not bad. Not bad. Obviously, we need a way bigger Air Force. Way, 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 way bigger. Do we have any spare fighters, maybe? Yes, no. We got some, quite a few uh, naval bombers, actually, huh? It's all a mystery to me, too, just like y'all. Bing bong. Might as well. Duplicate, you guys. Might as well. It's pretty laggy, as you can tell, but that's all right. Well, not bad. We were completely out of arty. But if the enemies are fighting other guys, we should have a relatively okay-ish time doing this, right? How strong is uh, Ernest J. King? They got a million manpower just being in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City, of course, and D.C. and Maryland and Virginia, which I've probably said several times. I can't tell what I'm saying anymore nowadays. And now the thing against the federal government's over. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. But yeah, now he's a level 7. Oh, they naval invaded. Level, you can have seven armies under him, which is nice. And Patton just needs tanks. Like, oh, these motorized are actually 40 pound with, with as well, so. And they got a whole one entrenchment. It's not that bad. But other than that, with these Federales. Yeah, they'd have, like, some equipment, but not very much. Yeah, they got the dudes. 
But that's all they got. All you got are dudes. Not a bad life if all you got are dudes, but gonna need some women in there too. But anyways. Uh, hit the Federalist Mil Yeah, you might as well. New admirals. How about we get to expand the waves? Liberty ships, submarine development. Let's expand some waves. Women can serve many auxiliary roles in the Navy, freeing up men for combat duty. Well, this might be socially controversial, it significantly help the war effort. Yeah, what else can we do here? Uh, war propaganda, we're pretty good already. Traditional containment, and we're pretty much done with the land auction by 1940. Nice. Yeah, we're not going to give up any sort of attacks here. You're going to go all the way in. You guys are... You guys are 40 combo with. These militia divisions are 18. Is this stupid? Yes, it is. We're going to go make them all 40s. Don't care. I really don't care. You're going to make them thick. Look at that. Guns. guns from, when do we get guns from Panama? I don't remember doing that one, but okay. We can't really complain about that too much. I mean, there's not really much we can do about it, so. Get some radar from Virginia. Sure, why not? Sure, sure, sure. Go in here. Wow, they're... So how many have we lost? We lost... Oh, there's New England. They lost 53,000 against the feds? Jesus. They suck. We've lost 380... 400,000, basically. But we've killed off 611,000 of them, so... It's not great, but... The federal government's gotta die. They illegally removed us from power, so we will legally remove them from Earth. 50,000 guns needed? That's pretty bad. And I ain't gonna give New England anything here. They don't deserve jack squat. Yeah, I don't think we need 35 divisions guarding a single tile against these guys. Please and thank you. There you go. Nice. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. DC is a frontline city, even though we're fighting in some of the worst parts here. So, yeah, I'm surprised that New Entente can't really do much here. Mm. And our ships really suck. They really suck. Anything else here? No. Send in the army. Recruit ahead intelligence. Sure, why not? We're upgrading stuff anyways. We might as well, right? Nice. Cool. You just walk in. Just let's just show up and just like, hey, I own you now. That'd be nice. And we have 60 some support. 55%. 55.55%. Oh, very specific. I like it. Sure, guys. Dominion of Alaska. For now, you can. Oh, yes. Take DC. Take that swamp hole. What is it, Pennsylvania Avenue or something like that, where the president lives? Well, the illegal president in this town line. This is an illegal president, period. We're going to lose a lot of Americans, but that's alright. A lot of Americans didn't, don't deserve to live here after what they've done to us here. Wait, what do you mean? What? Oh, I'm going to burn Canada to the ground again. Don't make me burn Canada. I will burn Canada to the absolute ground. If you take American territory, I... Oh, look at this. I will kill them all off, but... The men men are finished. With the AFP's militia collapsing and their men either retreating or phasing reprisal from our men, they are finished and our people can rest easy. This force of hooligans will no longer terrorize them. Supplies can move with ease and soldiers have one less worry in their lives. Thank God. Nice. Still gotta attack them Red Guard units, but that's alright. You son of a rock sucker. Canada. How dare you. How absolutely dare you. Nuclear research. Nothing but like a bunch of clan nuclear research. Makes you feel nice and wholesome. And yeah, we're out of manpower too, but whatever. We ain't giving up the fight. Screw Canada. You want to take that territory, Canada? You really want to piss us off? Oh, going about the El Central earthquake. Please go ahead. Oh, the humanity. Oh, no. We've lost a lot of dudes. We've killed off a lot of dudes too, though. So much art is needed. Even light tanks too. And tons of fighters eventually. Government Cypher School is nice. Very good. Come on, just get DC. That's probably really all you need. Get to Baltimore as well. New Admirals. Expand the waves. Well, Bucharest, not DC yet. Liberty Ships. Our shipyards, previously dedicated to commercial shipping, can easily be converted to produce massive numbers of convoys to supply our allies around the world. Nice. Western Panhandle. Oh, we can attack them guards too. That'd be nice. Good. Mall of Weather. Fall of Washington. It's ours. That should be. Oh, they saw. God dang it, New York City. I hate the Entente. I will go to war with them right now if we have to. If you will not take that state, that city. I gave it to them because they got the Reds done. I will kill them off. 
I will kill off Yontan right now. Order Storm Virginia, though. That's pretty good. Hey, we got a core. Awesome. Maryland, very nice. Honestly, supplies probably so bad right here. So let's do this. All you guys retreat here. And but, except for you. You've been down here for quite a while. Actually, who's got the best attack? Four, four, six. Yeah, you got the best attack. You, you, you attack here. Let's start consolidating some more divisions, maybe. Central Panama, at least we got some more of our good stuff back. Counter Black Liberation Units. Yeah, them Liberation Units are kind of garbage, man. Kind of garbage. Areno. This is stupid. You can take that top, but you can't take New York City. I'm taking all this, by the way. Federal collapse. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Screw Canada. They want American territory. They're going to fight and bleed Ottawa for it. Come on, you said you're going to give it up. Perhaps that was a lie. Nice. There you go. I thought you said the feds were going to collapse. What the heck? The game lied. What the heck? Thanks. We need that manpower and divisions. Ooh, minus 52,000 guns. Oh, order stored. Nice. In the Eastern Panhandle. Awesome. Come on, come on, Insulinda. I'm like, I don't, I really don't mind doing this. Uh, consolidate, that's fine. Go and leave and consolidate, but that's fine for now. We need way less guns, save a little bit of, sell you more manpower. We can always make more divisions later on, which will be fine. I'm not too worried about that, honestly. Yeah. Are they already consolidating, which is nice. Hopefully, we need way less things. Oh my god, just take this. How are they not dead yet? I'm sorry this is taking so long, guys. This is stupid. They should have already capitulated. But if the Entente didn't get involved in the American Civil War, we wouldn't be having this problem right now. I hate Canada, man. Canada's a fake country. It's a false country. I'm going to burn Canada, man. Probably. Michael... Nicholas Cage? He's got good lips. Seriously, this is so stupid. If you go to join the... Oh my god. You know, I'm probably just going to finish this one off screen. But we got a couple more things to read. Submarine development. Subs will also wreak havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our design is safe to date against enemy destroyers and anti-sub tactics. Maritime industry. Our maritime traditions remain strong. We can leverage the commercial hot shipping industry to help our struggling democracy survive. Expand the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was the epitome of the American power projection around the globe. From the shores of Tripoli to the halls of Moctezuma, the Marines were always there. We should ensure they have modern equipment and training. The end of the Second American Civil War. The South has indeed arisen again, but this time so is the rest of the nation against those who would subdue us. The twin leftist threats of Long and Haywood have been crushed, as, is, as the banker traders align with the old government. These threats to the American way of life have been destroyed, and now it's time to reset what was once wrong and rebuild the nation as it was meant to be. Down with the traders, up with the stars, and honestly, I had, we capitulated the federal government. I don't know why New England owns New Jersey, but uh, we had to re-kill off the WCC, the Western Command Center again, which sucked. But uh, reclaim Alaska. Oh, and the American Civil War, the South won this time. Oh, you betcha, but it did. Constitution's victory in the American Civil War. Tradition or triumphs. A dose of poison could do its uh, work. But once a bad book can go to a poison monster generations. Capital of America? With the Civil War over, of course. The question of what should be the capital of the new America has been brought up. Of the many cities within the country, four of the most promising, which city shall be our own. Um, let's, well, you know, I kind of like Atlanta. I don't like it that's not on the seas. Let's keep, let's keep it alive. Actually, mm, which one did I choose last time? That's a good question. Richmond might not be. Ooh, Richmond. Ooh, I kind of like Richmond. I mean, Washington, D.C. isn't its own state. It's technically in this game, like, part of Maryland, so... Th thereby, that also just makes it not very good. We're going very clanny. Richmond. Hmm. Did I do that last time, though? You know what? Did I ever choose St. Louis? I don't like St. Louis there. No. Richmond, Atlanta, though. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, I'll go with Atlanta for this time. I could be wrong. I might have went that way last time. My bad if I did. The American Legion appointment. With the end of the Civil War comes a vacancy in the ever important position of the American Legion's national commander. This last title holder, Smedley Butler, the foolish side of the cynicalist. Whomever taken this position will symbolically represent the veterans of the U.S. military and society, and thus our choices is important. A common name floated up as General George Mosley. Those alliance with the national corporatists makes him somewhat controversial, among others, of course. Uh, a more popular choice is George Patton himself, despite not being terribly diplomatic. Some NDWL members dispute both these choices and claim their man, Wycliffe Draper, as their position. Who shall be appointed? Oh, well, crap. 
Ooh, national populism. The Third Great Migration. Those thousands of African Americans that left America before the Civil War are being joined by hundreds of thousands more fleeing white league of terror. Groups like the International Labor Defense and the NAACP are now working together with the Red Cross to evacuate masses of people struggling to remain free. To the white defense leagues and their leaders, this plays into the long-standing fear of a united front against the rule. At the same time, the fewer the dissidents internally, the safer loyalists can sleep. The question is, what shall we do? Shall we let them leave or lie? Shall we keep them here? Expelling toxins. Step. Quick. Stop them. Get rid of them. We don't want them here. Um, so we're just still doing maritime ministry for now. All right. So really, the oh look at that. Oh, we can go to other mobilization. I think we will because we gonna need a uh, build, build, build. To catch my drift. Got a little bit of lag there. Okay. So we're this path guides. So I've done the old clan apparently. So we get Richard Russell's moderate sock uh, social social conservative core, which is only on the GitHub version of Kaiser Redux. How to get patents path, which we, I don't I don't do now. I'll do it later maybe. So go to part two. Um, how to get invisible empire, which we are the, the way we're going. So. Last time I did go with uh, the old clan. We need Effinger to work with the Black League in the event. Um, so for to get the old clan, that's the way to do it. To get the young clan, allow Pan to rest Stevenson or not. So, so we eventually it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go with Draper just because we're going national populist for now. So we really have to go down this focus. But happy 1941, everybody. America rules the waves. I feel like I've done that one before, but whatever. Uh, we haven't done back on the world stage yet. Our Western brethren. Training says Fortress America. Look to the Reich's Adler. Oh, we need deep sea savings, maybe. Ambitions of the state. I'm feeling a bit ambitious, not gonna lie. Take the fight abroad would not be too bad. Trials against the traitors, generals, and a bonus for land auction. Too bad we're done with our land auction already. We need the extra research slot, though, immediately, because we only have four. Three? Four? I can't remember. Isn't it in Kaiser Reich that this one increased military spending, you get plus 20% factory output? I could be wrong, even though I literally just came off that campaign. Yeah, we only have three. We, we've got to get that fourth research slot very fast. Very, 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 very soon. Um, we will be rebuilding the country too. We got a lot of things to do here. Um, yeah, I need to actually play a real campaign as Murray. So militias of the state. I don't know how to do that. We've got to say paternal autocrat apparently. Cavalier ideas, martial law. Yeah, we need paternal autocrats for this one. Legacy of Jackson. Oh, someday, man, someday. I promise we will. As well as Patton. But other than that, I I want to go to the, take the fight abroad immediately. Just so that we can get to extra research slot, because we got time to build ourselves up and have to kill off other factions. But with our victory at home, we now have to prepare to take the fight to whatever shore we need to take a vote to. Uh, to whomever mountain we have to cross and fight whatever foe we need to face. Uh, the Civil Powers Legations Council voted to not restore our voting rights, deeming us incapable of asserting control and trying to protect our concessions. We're left with observer rights permanently, it seems. Well, we're going to go murder them then. A little bit of murder didn't hurt anybody except those pieces of garbage but military research. After so many decades of isolation and the devastation of the Civil War, our nation lacks the capacity for military research and development of other great powers of the world. Let's begin a remedy to this unfortunate reality, which is a good idea because we're going to need some. We gonna need a lot of stuff here. Uh, go and grab the heavy hole because we're going to need research some naval stuff. We're going to get some plane stuff. We're going to need a lot of stuff here. Go down to 10. we got to share the wealth a little bit more. Um, we go down by five more, start sharing more stuff for artillery. Look at all the stuff we got to build that we don't have right now. I want to reunite with New England. I think we'll give it some time first, so I want to get partial mobilization. I want us to build, 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 build. And there shouldn't be too much here until we actually take the focuses that require us to really go with the uh, all stuff here. But I think what we're going to do... We're going to save this. I'm going to do a lot of this off screen, just kind of let things run. So we're going to do the military research. Army bonus research. Ooh, that's not bad either. We'll rebuild the country. A long struggle to push through the Federalist and Syndicalist forces of America has left the victorious Union state economically drained. The hand that unifies the country can either promote a deficit spending regime or an austerity posture, uh, austere policy that limits direct intervention in the market. Oh, counterterrorism. Nice. Loosen regulations. Oh, we need that immediately. The dual layer federal government system had allowed for at times very loose regulations and workplace workspace practice, depending on the state, in order to leverage its inherent balance in the government. We must allow businesses, both large and small, to thrive. Absolutely. We could keep doing that. We'll get some more output right now. Uh, what, else we, what else do we have here? Civil Works Administration. As a nation, America lost a great deal of its labor supply to fighting the poverty of the disorganized Federalists. The leader has pushed an executive auth order, authorizing the creation of an agency to employ manual laborers, fill out the spaces, and employment for NRA uh, projects. Rebuild in America. You know, agricultural exports. Farmers in our nation have been damaged by war, yes, but before that they were damaged by tariffs that made it difficult to export farm goods. Lifting trade restrictions and negotiating lower tariffs with other nations would give them some more income. 
building grants. Smaller townships across America have no recourse if their need is slightly less than the threshold for contract work. Our remedy is a building grant program based out of the four foundation. This allows communities to show proper and proper need and return on investment for contract work counterterrorism. Oh, look at that, nice. We'll hit the terrorists wherever they may be organized may be by the organization of the state's bureau of Inver information and national bureau of information and focus on hunting the terrorists down throughout the nation begin reconstruction the civil war has blasted our country to pieces large parts of the rural country are not but mud and ashes while uh, oh look at that countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble we shall set to work developing new housing infrastructure as soon as possible punish the corrupt and treasonous reconciliation not nope not this time black resistance waiting if you want to about that please go ahead Congress has sided with us in condemning these companies that betrayed the American people. Thus, the majority of shareholders and traders' companies have been seized, and the executive officers of companies have exploited workers beyond the facade of government now in trial. National Farm Bureau. Our farmers need a more efficient means of communicating their needs to the government and vice versa. We'll create and encourage membership in the National Farm Bureau to more easily coordinate with them and corporate patriotism. If corporations are to be allowed to be part of the nation, then let them be patriotic. We'll coordinate with corporate leaders to invest in rebuilding the nation and enact protectionism to keep state-approved corporations relevant to defense and the economy more easily and readily create public works projects, public works administration. The ability to generate electricity, transport water, and ensure safe and efficient travel was lost during the Civil War. But the Public Works Administration was, will fix all that. It's a fund that will ensure contractors pay their employers fairly. Military factors. Munition factors and armies are reporting a large loss of stock to theft as well as difficulty competing with foreign competition. We can fix it first without infringing on the Second Amendment with a tariff on imposed income. Imposed arms, which is weird because we were lowering tariffs and regulations, but rural electrification. Electricity network throughout the country has regressed to that of the 10s, 1910s, more specifically. This un -American, this is un-American. We need to ensure that our constituents can be properly informed by the nation's glory. Reconstruction is over. The course of Reconstruction has revealed the true ideological basis for why Hoover was unable to fix the economy. The wise constituents of these windbags have largely voted them out by now. As the GDP prices and America uh, GDP rises and the American standard of living rises and even exceeds pre-war levels, National Education Administration, in the wake of the collapse of the CSA, the National Education Association, the NEA, has folded and its members dispersed, with most teachers being apolitical, huh, and the union never being able to exert much partisan power over them, and makes a strong candidate for rehabilitation by the new American government and the create the ESMWIT. The Engineering Science and Management War Training, or ESMWIT, is a brainchild development of commerce to decentralize te te technological changes. Instead of uh, corporations, or cooperation that would disrupt competition and give an unfair advantage to certain businesses, this program disperses its findings freely to the public. But if you enjoyed this episode, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we will push ahead and figure out what we're going to do. And how fun we are going to have. How much fun we're going to have with the clan in general. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.